It's not their fault, they're ugly. Work is over, leave now. Have a good weekend, but do not cross us. Yeah! Weekend! Yeah! Drinks! Yeah! All right, that's great! Okay, oh boy, oh, this is swell! I'm gonna have a buffalo teeny when we get to the bar! It's gonna be one! Wow! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, hi, EP! You startled me. <laughs> so, you coming out tonight? Oh, I don't know. I got a lot of work Jeff. to do. Jeff, every Friday we go out and every Friday you blow us off. What could you possibly be doing that's more important than hanging out with me? I want to have fun with you. I just... <clears throat> I'm... Scared. No. No, no. I'll come out. I'm, I'm definitely coming out. Well, let's go. Not so fast, lettuce head. What now, Ignatz? I'm kind of in a big hurry here. Oh, I know you're super busy with all your important memos. I'm a writer. Right. Well, your dad wants to see you in his office right away. Yikes. My dad? He's never let me in his office before. You're writing the news now, Chad. Reporting tales of famine and death. The crafts in the woods, you me that I get the goods. Well, why don't you go see what the old man wants and then meet us after? Yeah. Come on, E.P. Coming. You promise you'll be there? I promise. Oh, also, read them and weep. What's this? A list of everything I was supposed to do this week, but didn't, because I have adult ADD. But I did all your work last week. Sure, but look at your shoes. I don't... You can't do this to me! You're just a mailboy! Exactly! I got nowhere to go but up, but you're going nowhere, daddy's boy! <laughs> nowhere! <laughs> oh! Oh, my mail! Oh, somebody call an ambulance! Sit down, you pusillanimous huckaback! Hi, Dad. So this is your office, huh? Shut up, gout! Marley Mo here is sizing me up for the most eligible billionaires cruise I'll be attending all weekend. We can't have him disturbed by your petulant nanny gabby! Who is this bony man, Mr. Connectorcott? Ignore him, Marley Mo. It's just my incontinent son, forced by my first horrible wife, Hummy. I swore when I married her that I'd hate any child she gave birth to. And I do! I don't see any resemblance. So what's the scoop, Dad? Your head's on the chopping block, Gout! You've been nothing but a roiling disappointment! Your writing is the tackiest, gimcrackiest, tawdry trash I've ever read! Well, Dad, I have to respectfully disagree. I think that my work is a shining example of form and structure. Then do you mind explaining this little endocarp of composition? Memo to janitorial staff. From now on, all smoke breaks must be held on the east side of the parking lot. That's perfectly fine. It's utter nonsense! Why can't you be more like Steinberg? He's our best memo writer! Bar memos! Try to get this through that abnormous head of yours, Jeffrey. I'm going on a cruise this weekend, and I need someone to watch my new pet clown, Dougie. Treat. Well, Dad, I'd love to write this. Did you say pet clown? Yes, pet clown. Uh, 
I don't get it. You, you want me to write about the clown? Right? Right. Wrong! Wrong. Wrong. You're no writer. You're barely a clown watcher. My normal clown sitter has the flu, so I'm stuck with you. But I thought- Who cares what you thought? I'm giving you one chance. Don't mess this up, or you'll be out of my building faster than you can say ABC Darian Antilock! What? What? Get out! And don't mess this up! Clown! Here we are, Dougie. Make yourself at home. Artie Scram, where are you guys? I need help down here, Artie! <laughs> Hungry? Artie Scram! I need help down here, people! Artie! Jeff! Can you not yell right in my ear? Sorry. Seven! <laughs> oh man, you always beat me at this game. What game are you playing? Scramption. Scramption? It's not a real game. It sure is a real game. Scramption. The game named after Scram. Yeah, well, it sounds to me like you just made it up to cheat Artie out of his money. Nah, Scram wouldn't do that. Well, not after we signed the Scram Rose Manifestation, which gave all my power, Burnt and Ernie, and money to Scram. So how's that money doing, Scram? Golden. I put in a bottle and sent it to myself in the future. Wow, oh, good. All right, we'll just talk about this later. Right now, I gotta get dinner ready for my dad's pet clown. Pet clown? Which I will be watching here all weekend. Right here? Which means I need help from both of you. Please be on your best behavior. Okay. Bah. The safe return of this clown means financial security for the rest of my life. Ah, winner! Winner, I say! <laughs> Doggy! No, no, Doug. No, please, please wake up, please. Please, what did you two do to him? I think we killed your fish! He's a clown! <laughs> Was it a clown? I guess if I don't even remember what kind of fish it was, it doesn't matter if it's dead. Who wants antifreeze? Me! He wasn't any kind of fish. He was a clown. What is wrong with you two? Death is a very serious thing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I don't believe you. Yeah, prove it. Prove it? We have to take him to a vet. Prove it first. With charts. And graphs. And diagrams. Ah. <laughs> okay. Are you satisfied? Nah, but I'm a hard sell. Let's just take Dougie to a vet. What did you say it was doing? It was breathing in and out like this. <laughs> Yeah, and every couple of seconds it would blink its eyes. Uh, it ate some food. Yeah, yeah, then it didn't eat some food. Yeah, then it went like this. Uh, I think it was more of a this motion. No, no, Artie, you're wrong. It was more of a this No, this motion. is definitely the kind of thing. No, no, Artie, shut up. Boys, what you're describing to me is normal human function. What I meant was, why did you bring it to me? Well, sir, he accidentally ingested a large portion of antifreeze. That explains it. This clown is completely dead. Is there anything we can do? I'm a vet, not a necromancer. But I do have the number for a very good necromancer if you're interested. But it's always such a gamble bringing soulless creatures like clowns back from the dead. Remember that clown that killed all those people back in 73? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about it till just now. <laughs> Dead clown. Brought back from the great beyond. Sorry, boys. You 
got yourself a dead clown. Aw, how'd he die? Demons. No, it, it was you two. You let him drink antifreeze. Nope, definitely demons and ghosts. Case closed. Let's go get some dinner and buy some fancy vases. Don't you two get it? There is no dinner, there is no home, and there are certainly no fancy vases. Jeff, you're scaring me. Good! Maybe now you two will finally understand that when I say things like- I'm sorry, sir, but if you're gonna give them a lecture, you're gonna have to do it outside. I've got dead dogs to kiss. Maybe now you'll finally understand me when I say things like, this is my dad's pet clown. If I don't take good care of it, I'll lose my job. We're totally dead. Like your fish. Not only is my dad going to fire me because I killed his pet clown, but he's never going to make me a reporter. I have a plan. No plans! <clears throat> I'll just call my dad and tell him the truth. I messed up again. Then he'll fire me. And I'll never be a reporter. And then we'll all be homeless. And then we'll all die sad and alone like that guy. <laughs> Nobody loves me! The thing that only eats ponies! But I can't deny myself the one thing that makes the thing that only eats ponies the thing that only eats ponies! Which is eating ponies! <laughs> but aren't you always telling us what's most important is what's best for the greater good? And Artie and I are part of that greater good, Jeff. I mean, you wouldn't want to see Artie here homeless and hungry, would you? Lord knows he's already pathetic enough. Oh, God. I don't want to be homeless, Jeff. I'm too pretty. They'll eat me alive. Let's do the right thing, Jeff. Let's lie to your dad. Although I don't approve of lying, Jeffrey, you're making the best of a bad situation that you created, and I admire me for noticing that in you. Mark that down, Artie. Ah, uh, okay. Jeff, is this hell? Apparently, if you're a clown. Yes, hello, sir. Uh, we'd like to uh, buy a clown for a sec, please. Oh, buy a clown? Why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, hello, little man. Say, have you ever seen the back office at a clown pound before? I haven't. Can we stay focused here, please? We're just here for a new clown. Say. I bet you would make a pretty little clown. I'd make a pretty little clown more than Artie. Come on, show me the back office already. We just need a clown, please. Um, about that tall and so wide. Could you check for us, please? Yeah, we got clowns. Yeah, I'll go check in the back. Thank you. I'm sorry. We seem to be all out of clowns. Maybe you can take me in the back and find a good one. So you think you can just stroll into Mr. Good's Clown Pound and just ask for a clown? What do you think this is? Yeah, Jeff, what do you think this is? A Clown Pound? And I'm just supposed to jump and say, oh, yes, sir, let me get that clown for you, sir. Hey, sir, would the ladies like a little bit more tea? Huh? Huh? Oh, maybe you'd like to jump on my back and ride me around like a camel. No, I, I honestly wasn't thinking that. I kind of was. You're just like all the rest of the big shots, with your fancy vanity plates and your designer clown pets. Okay. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. I give up. I'm just going to go home, and I'm going to call my dad, and I'm going to tell him what happened. I'm just sorry that it's going to affect you two as well. Yeah! So, are you going to take me in the back or what? I really let you down this time, Mom. I mean, I just wanted to write. I mean, do the right thing. It just seems impossible. Huh? I never thought of it like that. Jeff, I got something to cheer you up! I appreciate it, Scram, but it's too late. Nope, nope, you're not gonna believe it. I found the new clown that looks exactly like Doug! What? Yep, 
as soon as you and Artie ran out crying, crying like little girls, I went in the back room and I found a new clown. Hey, where is Artie anyway? He's in the living room. No clowns. No clowns. No. Oh, well, the delivery truck will be here with it any second. That's it now! Scram, this is amazing! Okay, Jeff, close your eyes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> May I introduce to you your new doggy? Wow. Scram, I. I didn't think you cared. Great, right? I mean, it's the wrong. Yeah. And it's much older. Yeah. But it's the thought that counts. I mean, who knows? Maybe my dad won't notice. Yeah, who cares? Jeffrey, I've returned. Dougie, oh Dougie, where are you, my inestimable evergreen? Where's my Dougie? Oh, there you are, my boy. How's my little Dougie? Something seems different about you, my boy. Have you lost weight? Yep, you lost all the weight. You solved the riddle. Wait a minute. This clown has blue eyes. Dougie's were a reassuring hazel. They rubber stamped the Chateau d'Espagne of my youth. I could do anything when I looked in those eyes. Whereas when I goggled this clown's eyes, all I get is a sense of, C'est la fond de Heracol. The green beans are finished. What have you done with my clown? Where's my Dougie? What? what? I, wait, hold on. I, no, 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 he's, um... <gasps> I'm so sorry, Dad. I let Dougie die and I tried to replace him with this one in the hopes that you wouldn't notice. I hate letting you down, Dad. And I really tried to make you proud, but now I just know that all I'll ever be to you is a huge disappointment. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Dad. No, son. I'm sorry. Maybe I've been too hard on you over these years. Lord knows I could have castigated you less as a boy. Should we report that? And this whole clown thing is an eye-opener. All my life I believed money and possessions were what made life important. It's not? No! It's control! You're fired, you little egg-sucking cactopus! Oh man, Jeff, I know this is not the best time, but uh, I broke a car and I need to borrow a thousand dollars. I'll pay it back, probably. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, we killed your fish! 